Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, today I'll be doing a long range outlook. I haven't done one in quite a while. I just haven't done a YouTube video in quite a while. So I do apologize about that, but uh, it's been it's been a fairly hectic life and it's been fairly busy and uh, not as many people seem to be interested in this time of the year, so it doesn't seem to be uh, as desired. So, uh, but if you are willing to support this channel, you could subscribe, you could hit that subscribe button, you could like the video, and, um, I'm not telling you to like it now, you could watch through the whole video, watch through this whole video, um, check out my channel, then you could subscribe or like the video, but consider doing so. Let's get into this. So, right now we're looking at the GFS model, and let's see what occurs. So, Based on just the, you know, at this time of the year, looking at the 540 line, the, the basically the millibars of uh, the height, the uh, the geopotential height, you can't really tell what's going on because the 540 line, if it does come down, you know that it will be very cold, but it could still be below average without it coming down because at this point, you know, the averages are in the 70s and 80s across much of the country. So, it, you know, below average 50 would still be ridiculously below average. But that's not the 540 line. So um, I I will show you the MSLP and precip um, for now. But in terms of temperatures, we won't be able to tell much. So right now we're looking at some fairly nice conditions for the eastern part of the country and the central part of the country. However, severe weather will be acting up um, fairly. Uh, you know, will be acting up fairly. Uh, strong in a, in a strong manner so uh, there's there's not any moderate or high risk but there are some marginal risk uh, marginal risk some slight risks issued and the thing is that they're kind of far to the north the farthest north we've kind of seen them this season so far so that's a little bit different um different uh, you know audience kind of different people uh, different uh, population area centers and we will see We'll see a very, uh, uh, we'll see very, very, uh, stormy conditions. We see, um, Nebraska, I mean, the, okay, so, uh, sorry, there's something going on in the background, I got distracted. Um, something with my cat, I don't know. I think, okay, I'm just, <laughs> alright. So, uh, basically what we're gonna be seeing is a very stormy pattern. There's gonna be quite a bit of severe weather going on across the central part of the country. Um, you know, this time of the year, it's not that these events are going to be all day, all, you know, huge storms, big widespread events. They're going to be kind of scattered and isolated thunderstorms. Um, where it does occur, it's going to bring down quite a bit of rain, but it's not going to be too widespread. And you can see, so we have that first storm develop, kind of dissipate. Second storm develop, quite a bit of precip with this one. Um, we see another third storm is starting to develop right here across Oklahoma. This is already Tuesday, May 21st, so next Tuesday. And then we see uh, just continuous, so a fairly wet pattern. Um, definitely a wet pattern, but in terms of temperatures, we're going to look at thermodynamics and two meter temperature anomalies because, um, again, it's hard to tell um, based off those lines and the MSL and precip where the cold air will be. So right now, uh, it's cold across the east or um, below average so you know fairly chilly especially since it's uh spring but uh you can see that it's war getting warmer across the central part of the country and the midwest and uh this continues for quite a while it seems like oh sorry about that okay so it seems that at the beginning It'll be more of this part of the country being warm. Over here will be kind of cold, and over here will be kind of cold. But as we go on into the, you know, into the, mm, okay, no. What am I, okay, sorry about that. I'm in a mess today. I haven't done this in a while. So I wanted to go to drawing mode. And later on, this moves, this warmth moves towards uh, the east and goes something like that and just stays in this general region and the reason for that is these storms like I showed you there will be plenty of them they will be riding up right I don't know if you could see that but let's choose a different color let's just choose a blue uh, they will be riding through they'll be riding through oh, come on they'll be riding through the area of Nebraska Iowa and that will essentially bring a lot of warm air into the eastern part of the country but a lot of 
cold, chilly air into the west. And that brings us to our next point. The west, the western part of the country will be very, very cold, below average, because, again, these storms are bringing up warm air here, but cold air behind there. So uh, it's leading to some, uh, you know, some fairly high contrasts in terms of temperatures across the country. So we see this is our 78, now our 70, uh, 90. And again, we start seeing these storms bringing up this warm temperature. You can see a very curved um, line right there. That is a cold front. That's a warm front. <clears throat> and again, look at that. A lot of cold air behind it. I mean, just remarkable how warm it's here and how cold it's there. Um, seems like the cold will be more um, pre prevalent and present, if you will, uh, than the warm air in terms of uh, the anomalies. I mean, look at some of those colors, that's 20 to 30 degrees below average, which could bring um, some definitely some chilly area, chilly temperatures to the areas in the west and uh, to the areas that are balancing between frost in the nights and warm days up in the higher elevations. This looks to be some, uh, you know, some mountain snow definitely occurring. And, and you can see that across the south and the central part of the country stays fairly warm, but um, the west stays fairly chilly and maybe pop, 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 pop. I mean, look at that, the, the four corners area, look at that, very cold, very chilly. And that potentially maybe moves on a little bit into the eastern part of the country around the June time frame. But again, these temperatures won't be, you know, bitterly cold. Um, it will be below average, but look, I mean, still 60s, 70s. Uh, you know, across much of the country where it's below average, but in the areas where it's above average, you could see uh, 80s, 90s, and look, these temperatures here are darn right chilly, 40s, 50s, 30s, fairly widespread, and uh, frost, below freezing across the mountainous areas, not even getting above freezing during the, during the day, so uh, <laughs> chilly at its, you know, definitely chilly, definitely not uh, too warm for the west so uh, let's quickly search up uh, 6 to 10 day outlook on the climate prediction center the CPC and again look at that contrast I mean these maps kind of get you excited look at that very warm over here very chilly over here below average and I mean the confidence is look 70% chance of being above average here 70% chance of being below average here and as I said several times on this channel already, this thing is called the Bear Clinic Zone right here. And this is where the storms ride. And often, you know, often more than not, even in the summer when these storms are less organized, these lows, they still bring up plenty of warm air to the east and plenty of cold air to, you know, to the north and northwest behind them. And in terms of precip, uh, again, this is where basically the storms will be setting up and all that precip and a little bit below average across the southeast. Let's quickly look at the um, 8 to 14 day outlook. That shows us a little bit further out. Still look at that above average across the east and below average across the west. And a precip, uh, maybe a little bit uh, drier across the east and wetter across the west. So, uh, you know, definitely an interesting pattern. This will be interesting to see how this plays out. We could be looking at some fairly uh, interesting weather pattern. I would just have to say some freak weather almost. I could say, and uh, it's, it's it's exciting. So, uh, the European model is showing similar things. We could show you the FE3 GFS. Um, the reason I'm not showing you the Canadian model, the Canadian model in terms of temperatures is absolute garbage. It's just uh, goes. It's it it's never has a good handle on it, and all it's always lost. So, um, I I just wanted to show you the FE3 GFS, and you can see that. Um, it's also showing those stark contrasts, especially early on over here, uh, 80s, 90s to the south, and 40s and 30s to the north. So definitely a stark contrast. And look, potentially moves on into the um, into the Midwest later on. You could see 50s and 40s later on it, around the June time frame, maybe across the Midwest, which would be definitely a change. Uh, definitely some chilly weather, but that still you know could change a million times. As of now, warmer across the east and southeast, and chilly across the west. That's like the main thing to take away. Um, fairly chilly, I would have to say. So, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing to this channel. And I will catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.